So I'll just get down here and I'll just sort of read the first, the last part of the putt first, in a way. So like I'll read the first five feet, or the last five feet of the putt first, see where I want the ball to go in, and then join the line up. So this looks like it's gonna break a little, break a little bit, not a lot. So it's pretty flat, then it's gonna tail at the end. So when I stand here, I first practice stroke, look up the line, then look up the line again, look at the hole, see the ball go in. Walk in, set the putter, take one look. And leave it short in the middle. Never up, never in. So my putting is very simple, as you can as you can see from there. I mean so often your first instincts is your best read. So that's what I do. I try and read where I want to where I want to see the ball go in, and just go from there. The best example I can give is a is a shortstop in baseball or a quarterback in football. That these guys don't check what position their arm is in when they're going to let the ball go, or they don't look at the first baseman's glove three or four times and then look at and stare at it. They just look at it and throw it. So you got to be very much the same as in golf. Athletic, you got to react. So I try and react to the hole. So that's how I putt. Got an okay light, a little bit of sand behind it. That's going to help run it out. It's a, fairly, it's a, length, it's a lengthy bunker shot, but uh, this is fine. It's, uh, I was going to try and run it back, but it's just because it's such a long shot, you just try and not fatten run it, but just sort of get it running, come out a little lower. So sort of pick your spot and go ahead and hit it. <laughs> Very much try and chase it down, because if you want to hit lower, you want to Follow through a little lower, you don't try and pick it up like this because it's going to pop up. So I'm just going to try and follow through a little bit lower, get it coming out running, and the breeze is going to help it roll as well, being off the left and helping a little bit. Ah, not hard enough. Not hard. Didn't. Yeah, it didn't hit it hard enough. Another one's short in the middle. Oh, man. Easy. 15, uh, Mark Allen is a pro in Australia. Good friend of mine, really took me under his wing and, and taught me a lot. And it's very much that, he, like, he always said walk on the low side. So I always walked on the low side, and I can tell side on a lot of times what the putt's going to do. So I can see here it's going to be break at the start. It's going to stay flattish through the, through the middle and towards the end, really. So I can I wrote when I by the time I walk around to the to behind the ball, I've already got an idea of how the putt's going to break. So when I get down, when I get behind the ball, I know it's going to turn a little bit at the start, and I get back here. It looks like it's probably going to turn a little bit at the end as well. And I'll never stand directly behind the ball and the hole. I stand on the where the ball is going to start off. So here I'm, the hole's to my right. So I got I can see I can see exact straight up the line where the ball is going to start. Then I just so I see the line that I I pick like a like a black line. And then I just go ahead and. Go through my the exact same routine. I went a lot early. They're the putts that you don't like to hit, the ones that fall low side, because they've never got a chance. High side, they've always got that little chance to sneak in that high door. So we'll just Clean this one up. Nice and firm with these short ones. Take a lot of the break out. Easy. Hold it, wind. Ah. Very good. 
So for that, I like to put the ball back in the stance to make sure it comes out low. So you at address, your hands are forward because the ball's back. Then at impact, so there's address and there's like impact. So it's basically the same position at address and impact. So like I, I'll pick my spot where I want to land it. There's a little dark patch up there that I can see that I like. I'll pick that spot and then just try and land on that spot. That's not a bad result, pretty tough shot. In Australia, because everything gets so hard, you can't, you can't hit, hit the flop shot, because, I mean, if I try to hit a flop shot there, it's just hard to stop it, because you're laying on a down slope, and the greens are hard, and it's running away from you, so you got to learn to manufacture shots like that. That's a nice save there. I'll take that five after the, um, that second shot. To knock it down. My yard is for a wedge is about 130 yards. So they put it back in the stance. Got downhill wide, so put it back in the stance a little bit, keep it down and try and fly it all the way back to the pin because it'll stop quick. Start out to the right and let the wind push it in. I always play the knockdown shot in uh, when it's windy. And then also if you're in between a yardage. If I got like an in-between a six and seven on yardage, I'll take the six and knock it down. Um, yeah, like it, like you said, like often you see players finish there with the face being open, not rolled over, because then it's very passive. So you can keep that there keeps the spin off it. Where is if you release it like this, and you and you're putting a lot more spin on the ball, and it's going to deviate more in the air. Oh man, this is this is so good for me. What's the saying? Like you love to hate it or hate to love it, whatever. I mean, you can go out there and hit one shot, and that'll bring you back next time. Because you're like, man, I should be hitting that shot all the time. So it's definitely the hardest game in the world, but it's definitely the most rewarding. <laughs>